Are you ready to find your dream home in Denver, but you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed by the process? Well, you're in luck. In this video, I'm going to share my top 10 tips for buying a home in Denver. These tips will help you navigate the market, find your dream home, and make the process as smooth as possible. So let's get started and make your dream of home ownership a reality. Tip number one, you need to get pre-approved for a mortgage. The first tip for buying a home in Denver is to get pre-approved for a mortgage. You gotta know how much you can afford. This will give you a lot better idea and will help you when it comes time to make an offer. Additionally, many sellers will only consider offers from buyers who have already been pre-approved. So don't waste your time. Just go ahead and get pre-approved. It doesn't take very long. Tip number two, make it easy on yourself. Work with a realtor. A realtor will be able to give you the knowledge and experience to guide you through the process of buying a home. And they'll be able to help you find homes that meet your specific needs and preferences. They will also handle the negotiations, the paperwork, and they'll just make the process so much smoother for you. Tip number three, create a home buying wish list. This should include things like the number of bedrooms, the location, price range, and any other specific features that you're looking for in a home. Having a clear idea of what you want will help you narrow down your search and find the perfect home for yourself. Tip number four, is to understand the Denver real estate market. The market is constantly changing and it's important to have a good understanding of the current trends and prices in order that you can make a informed decision when buying a home. Your realtor will be able to provide you with this information if they're good. Tip number five is to be prepared to act quickly. The Denver housing market is very competitive and you may have to act fast when you find the right home. Your realtor will be able to help you navigate the process and make a very competitive offer. Now, a lot of times we go look at a property and if we're gonna put an offer on, I go right back to the office and I start writing the offer. I am making phone calls to listing agent. Um, I'm talking with the lender and I am getting creative with how we're gonna structure that deal so that you win. I win a lot of my deals and I do this because I go and prepare. I make a very clean offer that it's a no brainer to go with my buyer. Tip number six is check out the neighborhood. It's not just about the home itself, but also about the area it's located in. Take the time to drive around the neighborhood, check out things like schools, public transportation, bars, restaurants, local amenities, grocery stores, whatever you feel is important that you use on a weekly basis. Number seven is to get a home inspection. This is a crucial step in the buying process as it will give you a better understanding of the condition of the home and any potential issues that may need to be addressed. When you're looking at a home, you're not going to have that much time. You might only have 15 to 30 minutes to look around the home and that's not enough time to accurately assess the condition of the home. So a home inspection is well worth the money. Even if you're buying a home as is, you're going to want to get an inspection anyways because you will still be able to get out of the deal if something comes up. So spending the six, $700 for a home inspection, well worth it. Even if you're not buying a home as is, then that can still be used as negotiation with the seller on getting items addressed or maybe even getting extra concessions. So many times it's definitely worth it. I would say nearly all times it's worth it. There is zero reason to pinch pennies on a few hundred dollars for a home inspection. Tip number eight is to not skimp on the closing costs. Closing costs, they can really add up, but it's important to budget for them and try not to cut corners. This can lead to unexpected expenses down the road. So get that inspection. <laughs> now, rarely anyone buys their first home and lives in it forever. So tip number nine is consider the resale value. Even if you plan on living in the home for a really long time, it's important to think about the potential resale value. Look for homes that have good resale potential, such as homes in desirable neighborhoods or homes that have been very well maintained. Tip number 10 is to not rush into a decision. So by the time you're looking at houses, you've already done your homework and you're going to get an idea in a sense when you're looking at home. And it is okay to the first house that you look at to put an offer on. Now, maybe you might want to look at two. I always recommend that my clients look at at least two properties uh, in the same day. That way they can just have a good feeling about the purchase. So when you've done your homework, then you can go ahead and pull the trigger on that decision. So make sure you take your time to think about it and don't let anyone pressure you into making a decision before you're ready. Buying a home, it's a very big financial decision and it's important to consider all your options and ensure that you're making the best decision for yourself and your family. It's also important to remember that buying a home is not just about today, but it is also about the future. 
and the neighborhood, the school district, the resale value, what type of lawn it has if you're into that. You know, does it have a nice big driveway to fit all your cars? It's a lot of things that go into a home decision because you're living that for a long time. As a local Denver realtor, I hope you found this video helpful on the top 10 tips for buying a home in Denver. I have years of experience in the Denver real estate market and I know how to guide you through the process of buying a home. Remember, my tips include working with a realtor, creating a home buying wish list, understanding the Denver real estate market, being prepared to act quickly, checking the neighborhood, getting a home inspection, budgeting for closing costs, considering resale value, and not rushing into a decision. If you're ready to start the process of buying a home in the Denver area, I would be honored to assist you and guide you through the process of finding your dream home. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me, James Hund at 303 746-7504. In addition, if you leave a comment with the message, New Home Buyer's Guide, I'll send you a free guide that will help you navigate the home buying process and make it as smooth as possible. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tips and advice on the Denver real estate market. And if you're ready to take the next step to buying a home, please just give me a call and I can answer whatever questions you have, even if you're in another market. I'd be more than happy to help. And if you're in the Denver market, phone over again, 303-746-7504, and we can schedule a consultation for free. Well, that's all for me today. Bye, friend.